If you'd like to build your own web app, any kind of software tool, landing page, website, then you're going to love this video because I'm going to show you how you as a non-technical person can literally build whatever you want now with the help of AI and this software, which I found called Rocket. And there's a link underneath the video if you want to try it out for yourself. So where does it all start? It starts here right in the prompt box. The English language is now the new programming language, which suits me down to the ground because I am definitely a non-coder. So I created a prompt using ChatGPT of what I wanted and what I want to try and build using Rocket here is a full-on job board, a website where employers can list their jobs and then job seekers can go ahead and apply for those jobs. Now that normally would be quite a task and cost a fortune to develop using a development team but we're going to try and do it ourselves with Rocket. So first of all I'm going to paste in my big prompt prompt as you can see it's pretty extensive and Rocket allows you to put in a really detailed prompt like this but the main title of this prompt is to build a production quality job board web app with authentication public job browsing and basic employer posting keep it simple fast and visually clean so with that we we'll, we just literally have to press go and watch Rocket do its magic. Now, if you've already created a lovely design for your app in something like Figma, great news, you can literally just import it straight into Rocket and then it will build the actual software that goes with your design. So absolutely outstanding. So here we go then. And um, we've got our familiar design where uh, the coding and everything is done on the right hand side and then what it's building will appear there. And on the left hand side is our prompt and where we can continue to communicate with our AI vibe coding tool and so the first question that it's asked me is um, what framework would I like now I think I'll just go with the defaults which it's recommended which is react JavaScript and tailwind CSS cascade in style sheets and uh, but if you wanted to you can go ahead and choose other different technologies as well different frameworks but I think we'll just go ahead and use the default so what you'll find with these vibe coding tools is that they'll have a think about each step before before they start doing stuff and asking clarifying questions, which is exactly what you want. You want to use that AI power to get the best results that you possibly can straight away without constantly reiterating and going back and forward. So there we go. You can see it's come up with perfect. I'll build your production quality job board web app using React with JavaScript. This will be comprehensive platform with public job browsing, employer dashboards, candidate profiles, authentication system, SEO friendly job pages even. Um, resume uploads, role-based dashboards. The app will initially be front-end only after creation. You can integrate with Superbase for authentication, database operations, and email functionality. So that's really good. It integrates with a lot of different things, by the way. And let's just take a look at those while it's now preparing our new job board. Integrations-wise, we can integrate with Figma, Superbase, and Netlify. And we're going to use Netlify to put this live online in a moment. And then projects specific integrations. So we've got Stripe, Google Analytics, AdSense, OpenAI and Anthropic Gemini for integrating AI into your web app projects, which is really exciting. You can just literally connect up your web app using an API key from any of those platforms. And now you've got your account being used to power the AI inside this rocket created app. So let's jump back over to here. So now it's asked me um, which screens that we wish to build from the list below. I'm just going to tick all of them. We want the whole lot. They use tokens. Every time you, you are using Rocket, you're consuming tokens. And of course, um, we'll run through the pricing of those tokens at the end of this video. So I'm, I want the whole lot I've asked for. So now let's click build my web app and off we go. So as you can see, it's starting to do the coding now. It's creating a job card there. Look at that. It's a heck of a lot easier than doing it yourself, isn't it? And then when it's done enough of the work and it's created your app, you'll be able to see it in this preview section. At the moment, it's just letting you know that uh, it's working on it and everything else. But this will be replaced by your web app once the visuals are all done.
and it's doing really good it's already created the login page the register page as you can see down here and it's doing this in minutes now you compare this to actually hiring a developer and you're talking about weeks of work here to do all of this code things are really changed now and open the doors for regular normal people to actually create some brilliant web apps that they've been thinking of building but never really you know wanted to have the expenditure and the stress of trying to get a good developer to do the work well, now you can do it with Rocket. Once again, there's a link underneath the video to try it out. Wow, and here we are. It has done already. So what has it done? Let's have a look. Every single one of these different pages have all been created. It's done a production ready job board with role based authentication, responsive design, comprehensive dashboard functionality. Then we've implemented secure form validation, drag and drop uploads, advanced filtering, real time password strength indicators. And we've got some login credentials as well that we can use to test it out exactly what we put in the initial prompt by the way and it's created the job details page because there was one page that out of these that it failed to build and it said retry I click retry it did it and we're absolutely all done now so I'm very happy with that so let's play with our new web app well first of all at the top here you can just full screen it which is always nice so you can have a little look around here's our jobs we've got our pages down here we've got the ability to filter by jobs and everything but I'm going to sign in as an employer because we've got those demo details so here's the here's the initial sign in page. Also, you've got a, a create account page, as you can see there. You can choose whether you're a job seeker or employer, agree to terms and everything. I'm going to sign in. As I say, I'm going to go with employer. And then let's take a look at what it has done in the way of creating an employer dashboard. There we are. Look at that. That is amazing. So we've got the total number of views for all of our job posts, applications, the number of active jobs are hired. We can edit any jobs that we've got look at this we can go in and you know change the job title and so on job description and what might be good here is to add some AI into the mix and link to something like OpenAI to get them to improve or even to just write your job description for you that'd be really cool and then you can preview your job and everything once you've finished doing that let's go to our dashboard now there we are. And then we've got uh, recent applications down here from candidates that we can go and have a little look at whether they've been approved or not. So this is a really, really good first build from Rocket. I really like it. Now let's log in as a candidate and see what that's like. I think it was, uh, yeah, candidate at demo and then password candidate one, two, three. Here we go. And there we are. So it's got like, welcome back, Sarah. Manage your profile, track applications and discover new opportunities. So this is really, really neat, neat looking app here. Fantastic. Now it is also, I know, mobile friendly. And up the top right here, you can go and check that out. Let's go straight in with a mobile phone. And there you are. Look at that. We've got our burger stack menu at the top that works lovely. Everything looks neat and tidy still. And nothing's kind of shooting over the side of the screen which I, I really don't like now let's try a kind of tablet view that looks cool as well so I really do like this rocket app for creating apps as you can see it's done a very very good job very quickly now what about actually publishing this well as I said you can link up with Netlify so just click to get started on that and then we can integrate directly with that if we go to our settings just up here if I just return to home a moment and then go to settings here integrations here and then once you've signed up you just authorize the connection between rocket and netlify and then you can publish your project straight onto the web now it's worthwhile knowing that you don't have to sign up with netify in order to publish your app using rocket you can just press publish and use their own built-in netify connection as well it's just if you wanted it in your own netify account then you can just integrate with netify very very easily so let's go ahead and do that now here it is so just at the top right there this publish button becomes active when you've created an account and integrated we click publish publish now and like it says it just gets done straight away and then you get a URL you can actually go and play with your app directly on the web there it is done and now we can go straight to 
play around with the site on a proper URL. Now you can also connect your own custom domain as well. So um, there's no problem there. Or even put it on a subdomain if you already have a business and you just want to add a job board to your normal business website. And you can change the branding and everything else and reiterate the whole app just by prompting just here on the left. The other thing I want to say about the apps that you produce in Rocket is that you can then integrate them with other services to really make the app complete and functional. For example, with this job board, we want a fully functional login ability with database and everything. So it's connecting with something like Superbase and they've got full instructions on how to do that in their documentation would be ideal for doing user authentication and so on and storing uh, all of the data within there. Also, you can, as we've spoke about, link up with your own Netify account. Also, we have Stripe as well if you want to start charging for those uh, services, whichever services you might want for your app to monetize it. Brilliant to be able to just um, literally put in your Stripe key and then connect up with Rocket app as well. Twilio as well so that your app can send SMS uh, messages, also useful in many circumstances. And then because in the case of our app here, the job board, we're going to be doing a lot of email sending like notifying people to say there's a new job, notifying an app, an employer that a new applicant has made an application and so on. So for something like that, you might want to use a service, uh, one of the integrations here called a resend as well. So all in all, by using all of these integrations, you can really make your app totally and utterly fully functional and working with Rocket New. So very, very simple and easy to use system. I really, really like it. Now let's just go and have a look and see how much it costs. So for a start off, they do have a free plan, but let me show you the paid plans. And if we just go to the annual, you save 20% straight away. And if we take this $40 a month plan, that's ideal if you're doing like professional level um, projects, they don't use your data to train any of the models. The same on even on the cheaper plan here, the personal plan, they don't use anything there. You get unlimited custom domains that you can link to and 10.5 million tokens. Now I had already created created a full web app with this on the free plan, I had used approximately 15 million, I would say, to build uh, both apps. So 15 million each. So that gives you a little idea. And then at the bottom here, you can see it says 12 Figma screen to code conversions or 45 screens of apps, websites, dashboards and internal tools. So very, very good value. Do you know what? If you actually hired a dev team to build what I just shown you, you would be looking more in the region of $10,000. Seriously, that's how much it would end up costing you if they were to build it from scratch the way that we have here. Loads and loads of money. So it's a huge saving uh, using Rocket. And as I say, I hope you like this video. You can try them out. You can click on the link underneath. Go check them out and see what you can build with it. Very exciting. If you do go ahead, then please do drop a comment and let me know what you built. You can even drop a link to it if you want us to go and check it out. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.